Welcome to the Chip and Cern Show, the podcast about everything and nothing at the same time. They were possibly separated at birth, only to be rejoined to create the sweet sounds that will caress your deepest cochlea. The show is real, random, rant-filled, and ruthless. Please be warned that the show may hurt your feelings, offend your grandma, and even kick your dead dog in the balls. So get ready. Let's get this shit started. This shit has started. I am Chip. I'm Cern. And you are listening to the Chip and Cern show once again you also could be <laughs> watching on youtube live not once again well Weird. except for what was that one guy from morgan yeah and one of our other uh <laughs> the other one other fan that is not a family or blood relation to oh us. that's true <laughs> or family and blood relations the same thing uh, we are here on it's officially summer it is the weather is not it, we can't make its mind up, at least where I live, and I feel that we kind of we're, were in the we're same... We're simpatico. Simpatico, temper... Temper... Temporarily. Tem, temperature? Tem, ter, temperate? <laughs> I don't know. All right. Weatherly. Uh, if you know Chip and Cern, you know one thing we do like is beer yes. and busting Joe's balls. Okay. Joe... Oh, actually, let's survey. We Chip and Cern were floating the idea of getting... Beer koozies, Chip and Stern show beer branded koozies. beer koozies, <laughs> but the minimum requirement orders like at least fifty. I don't know if we have. 50 and considering, fans. I know, <laughs> considering how uh, stale some of our other merch sales are, I'm not. I don't really want to pump. Well, what are you talking about? We got a Black Friday sale coming up. Oh, that's true. Good point, Sterling. <laughs> uh, Chip and Stern show dot com slash shop. <laughs> If you have Black any interest of a beer koozie and your name's not Joe, we know Joe does. Send it, just like send us a tweet or something, or I don't know how uh, you okay, just so something and just I think it'd be like five bucks for a beer koozie. Yeah, just you can just contact us. So smoke signal would be fine. Yeah, we'll take it. <laughs> Basically, Chip and Cern don't want to dump two hundred of their own dollars in to have. 48 beer koozies between two houses <laughs> um, while our wives are like getting angry with us again. Yes. Um, that how funny. So I was just thinking, like, you know, we're already up beer there. and Joe. Yeah. Joe already has a beer koozie that he keeps in his back pocket, which is what kind of got me thinking. Yes. Cheap impressions for that man. Like we can get a lot of that's going to get seen. And Joe, by far, we do bust his balls by far. He reps us the hardest. He, he reps us hardest than even we rep ourselves. Yes, yes, he reps us. And he has more connections, I think, than we do. Because yeah. everybody knows Joe. More connections. <laughs> he probably has... He's like the real life cheers. Everybody knows his name. <laughs> <laughs> so what did Joe... Joe text us earlier. And he said he was going to... Uh, what was it? House of Beers or college beer university or some beer, shit like that. Let me just say it's beer university, I believe. And basically the, the gist of it that I got was it's a uh, yard house type place here in the Sacramento area. University of beer. All right. Let me look. Uh, let me do some Googling on that. All right. Me too. So we can oh, see it on the three six. Uh, university of beer. And he said, uh, oh, there's one in Sacramento. There's one in Davis. Oh, which one do you think you went to? Probably sack. sack. Actually, it's a, uh, uh, you know where Nashiki is in uh, Sacramento? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's right across yeah. the street from there. Oh, so he's in SAC. Yeah, so he's probably in SAC. Locations, I'm guessing Davis, Sacramento, Vacaville. Hopefully he's not in Vacaville. <laughs> so it's a Northern California beer thing that I would guess competes with um, Yard House. Yard House, yeah. Um, thousands tap list. Uh, so they have premium craft beer and beer inspired cuisine beer and qu inspired cuisine so like chicken wings or some shit oh, are you on the tap list i am on the oh, tap list. i'll go to the menu then so, i want to see what beer inspired cuisine is so they have dog uh fish the head. fucking website doesn't even work they have dog fish head Ballast so they have port. 91 beers on tap to shoots oh these are all okay so they have more than ninety one. Why are they? Why are you on a mobile? I don't know. That's interesting. Anyway, oh, you're just on new. You can go to Belgian Sours. Uh, ooh, Damn, sours. let's check out sours. the Sours. Hold on. That's, that is. Oh, they were so just on sour? just on Sours. How many do we have? Scroll down. Jesus, fifteen, a dozen sour beers. So this is clearly one wow. of these places where 
if you want to try a new beer somewhere you've never tried before, you like tasting all these um, places, this is the place to go. Oh, Ballas Point has a sour. I mean, Ooh, lemon, lemon lime, lime goza. goza. <laughs> wow. I'm getting thirsty. I know. Mm. Anyway, what did Joe, will you read Cerny verbatim? We don't want to take this man out of, out of, uh, we, out of context. context. We don't. Uh, so he texts us out of blue. Uh, oh, hold on. Early in the day, he sent a video of a Coors Light bottle sitting there. And then him going to his back pocket, whipping out his beer koozie and, it's and sliding in it. It's in always it. in his back left. So I was thinking the chip it's like is, a, the like chip a third can. koozie would be in the right so he could double fist. Oh. That's what I'm thinking. But anyway. Um, so then so he now, texts us. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Imagine you get pulled over by a cop. And he pulls you out of the car and he pats you down. You, you been drinking tonight, son? No, officer. Are you mind stepping out of the car? What's this in your pocket? Oh, it's my beer koozie. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't use it yet. I didn't use it. Um, it's moist. It's moist. It's still moist. <laughs> uh, okay. We uh, should probably just. <laughs> Jesus. I never. I just thought of that right now. There's no way the officer's like he's stashing it underneath the seat, right? <laughs> <laughs> what are you throwing? You're, you're like a uh, uh, couple uh, nugs of weed under the seat. No, uh, no beer no, koozies. No, There's nothing, sir. Nothing. Uh, so he texts University of Beer has about a hundred beers on tap. Oh, well, oh sweet. nice! Fun, something for everyone. No Coors Light. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> so that got me thinking. Joe is a reverse beer snob. He. <laughs> he is. He's now. Now, you, this is what I've noticed. Go ahead. I kind of admire the man. So. He's last he came over a few weekends ago, mm-hmm. and I had some beers. I said, "Joe, I got you know some beer." Now, I'm gonna guess Cerny at his house probably has like right now we're drinking this Firestone IPA, like some Costco or Sam's Club yes, like mix me. pack or you should go to Costco some sort of you know, like they have a summer what's your pack. go to if you just had if you were the one buying the beer and you just wanted a beer every day in your fridge what what would like it would be a goes. It would be a goes. Th- that Sours. would be your go-to right now. That or right now, since it's hot, I just saw the summer shandy. Oh, line and Kugel. Line and Kugel. Put it in the fridge. I had it the other day. I was like, I might get was, some for that barbecue. We should bring some lineys over. Oh, I'm in. I'll bring Market. some. Market. All, All right. Sorry. Didn't mean to interrupt your story. Go ahead. Um, so that's what, that's what usually I have something like that. So he, <laughs> he came over. So, he, I mean, Cerny's not, um, you know, okay, there's always going to be uh, Sierra Nevada or like... A craft, bro. A craft. It'll be so, a craft so beer. Craft. There's no Bud, Bud Light or... No. no what, but, are you, what about... um? I do like, for the hot, I don't mind myself, a uh, Pacifico or a Modelo Especial. Some okay, of the one so the Mexican lagers. I do love Even cr- Ma- Modelos. Yeah. Actually, I did have a couple of Modelos the other day where it was like... <sighs> it's so it was 100 good. degrees over here. And I was like... Yeah. As I saw it, I was like... Oh, Modelo just with a nice lime. Uh, yeah. It was good. Okay. Anyway, I'll stop. But yes, but yes. Up, chipper. Um, he usually comes with his own ice chest. It's the red one, white lid. Gary, it's about Yeti. Shot. Now it's, it's cold. Like, it's, yeah, it's like, cold, like here, you're like the like your dad would have. You know, right? Opens it up, always full of Coors Lights. Always. Now, why do you think that is? Why does he? Why does he? Before he you goes to the party, I, I've never asked him that. That's a good question. We got to find this out. We'll we'll report back, Chip and Cern. But yes. let's we could speculate. No hurt, no harm in speculation. No, no. Joe, okay, time to go to Cern's for the party. Got my wallet. Got my keys. Got my girl. Hope. Oh. I need my bird. <laughs> does he? Because he knows. That CERN is not going to have. not going to have. It's like a 99.999%. Uh, yeah. The only time I actually have it is from when he left it over my <laughs> Same. Previous. And I think a couple times we have like preempted, preempted yes. by having it over and he still drank his own. Yeah, he came. It's like, oh, okay. Well, this will be here for the next time I come back. Yeah. Um, so we brought his own. How many did he have in there? A sixer? Usually a 12er. Or a baker six. It's like a it's like a baker six. Pulver. So probably he, he he shares. He's very sharing. So probably, yeah, he's very nice. Don't get don't get us wrong here. Just because we bust Joe's balls doesn't mean we don't love him to death. What I'm guessing, Cerny, those are the uh those are the remainders from the thirty rack. Probably. 
So I was trying to see if they had a light. It says light, but they're yeah. So Joe, if you did some homework before you went, oh board. right here, dude, that KSA is bomb. We've had that four point. Oh, yes. Oh, that he is, would that love is, it. He would. <clears throat> so this. So <clears throat> now, now, Cerny, I ask you, Joe, the reverse beer snob. He only drinks Coors Light, and he wouldn't do. I can see if he does. Okay, I don't like the danky hops that it, you know it tastes like someone's bong water, or I don't like uh, Guinness or whatever. Right? He, okay, that's so fine. I'll give you that. I don't need. I don't need. You know, he can drink. It's kind of weird. I can't really figure out his palate. Sours? No. Like he huh. he he was adamant. Like I said, do you want it? No. Did you try it? He said, I hate those fucking beers. I said, what about this one? No, I don't want those fucking those fucking beers. I said, oh okay. Didn't want him. Okay. A double IPA? Okay. He he was like, like huh. there were a couple of times I was like, he came over to help or whatever. And I was like, dude, all that's I all got is. Yeah. He's like, all right, that's fine. Like he'll drink it. It's not like he's against. Is it because it was that, that was the only choice? He the, needed his fixing? Probably. <laughs> get, some, uh, get, get some alcohol in that blood yeah. system. <laughs> now, Cerny and I here are looking at University of Beer in Sacramento and their menu. And they have a light section. Which is fine. I drink off that. No problem. I'm uh, seeing... Something easy? Something easy from Lagunitas. Four point KSA. I personally love that. It's a 4.6 ABV. Alcohol by volume? Yeah. I mean, that's a nice, light, very crushable, good summer beer. I would say that's like a fancier Coors Light. It's three bucks for a pint, I think. Mm. Or six fifty. sorry. Six fifty. Six fifty. What What's else is three, under What's here? What's this three dollars? Oh, taster. Maybe if the, you get like the whole sample. Yeah. You know, if you get a five sample or whatever. Like that. I'll just go home. I've never had some of these. But Oops. what's wrong with just a Pilsner? A Stella? Would, would he like a Stella, do you think? Or um, he should. a Heineken? <laughs> My brother always drinks Stella. Heffenweizen? Does he like the Heffs? Too weedy? Maybe. You know what beer I, I style I don't love? The Blonde Ales. Hmm. Just oh, actually, excuse me. What is it that? Well, was it American Ale? Is Bud Light, Budweiser? Yeah, I mean, we're not Ugh. even counting that in the Ugh. craft. You can't count the blonde that ales. I'm not. See, why wouldn't you, Joe get a Blue Moon for himself? I could see him liking a Blue Moon. Why does he get this non-alcohol? <laughs> oh, <never mind>. kombucha. <laughs> nice. I could see Joe crushing some booch. <laughs> <laughs> Sud work. That's from Davis. Booch. Yeah. Yes. So why why is Joe the reverse beer snob? Oh, I don't know. Oh, is he, re- is he retaliating? <laughs> no, no, I mean not yet. Um, I don't know. He does. Is it is it he he's trying to he it's his thing, right? Is he trying to maintain a certain image? I don't know. Okay, so it's like he's like the Benjamin Buttons of beer. beer you know, we like <laughs> you know, like we hated IPAs. Like yeah. Just, India pale ass. He yeah. used to say that, and now it's like, like I see IPA. It, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, that's he's like the opposite. Like he was all into that shit, and now he's going, was he? <laughs> he would drink anything. Oh, he would drink anything. <laughs> anything. But I mean, is that just being was a maker's 20 mark? Something? And it was like oh, he was just right. all about the drinking, and now he's like s- sliding back into, huh? The C minuses. Now, here's the thing: when you think, oh, beer snob, this is why reverse beer snob. Yeah. Beer snob. Oh, Cerny and I were out. At a bar, and they have Bud Light, Coors Light, Bud Heavy, and then like um, I don't know what's like Sierra Nevada or the throwaway like craft beer that's oh, local yeah. here. What's that? Fucking like Newcastle. Newcastle. Ah, oh, damn! I love Newcastle. <laughs> I do too. Um, <laughs> it's hella refreshing. It is. Um, it looks like you like. It looks it's, like it's, it's gonna way be a problem. More refreshing than yeah. it looks. <laughs> yeah, looks like it's gonna be a problem. Doesn't? And then, <laughs> so you would think the beer snob would go, oh, they don't have. Oh, there's no uh, single origin craft beers from um, Portland, Oregon. Were these uh, aged in whiskey yeah, barrels yeah. before? <laughs> oh, the, you know, um, what was the name of the hops that got thrown into here? Um, so that's when you kind of think the beer snob. But if Cerny and I are out or we're golfing or whatever, we pretty much drink to whatever's there. Yeah. Now I, mean, I I do agree with Joe when we're out golfing. Coors, Coors Light, yeah, that's because it's, it's you know it's kind of refreshing. It doesn't have a lot of alcohol in it because it <laughs> it's more hydrating than <laughs> buzz inducing. It is, although 
No. What was that? That was that was his birthday, wasn't it? Where we had he had five tall, four or five tall cans. Oh yeah, Jesus. I was like, Jesus, Joe would be vertical by now. Now, Joe's a man of quantity, and he knows this of himself. <laughs> so so they, they do have a Miller Coors in the Blue Moon. You're right. I thought, uh, yeah. Same company, Joe. Come on, yeah, now. it's the same thing under the same roof. <laughs> so same water from the from the Rockies. Now, when Joe's putting away, let's just say a six pack of Coors Light, Chip and Cern could have. I mean, we don't drink as much or whatever, but like, I bet he could probably have two IPAs and to get the same buzz level. You know, because right. it's like, so is he just like drinking them a lot and cut his calories consumption down? I see. Oh, is that what we're talking about? No, I'm just. Oh, what's I don't this know. nitro style beer? Have you ever had that? I have. Let me see if one of these I've had. Obsidian. I've style? had that old Rasputin. Um, you know the nitro cold brew that yes. they have at Starbucks. Same thing. Okay. So instead of, um, like, like carbonation, it's yeah. like an it's like nitro. Boddington's is another, um, one as well. Wow. I'm not big into the nitro. I don't like. Let's see. What what are we? Go to the IPAs. Let's see what kind of danky IPAs. That's probably what I'm most into now. Although I was very turned on the IPAs for a, a couple of years there. Oh, we were in. They have a white double IP. Oh, man. oh interesting. Now CERN and I are Ooh, just eight looking. Oh, and a half, too. I got to stay away from that. There's, What's been your, a few, um, there's been a few where I had it. Like I, I just had like grab the bottle at my Costco. Like, you yeah. Know, the singles, those big ones. Oh, yeah. Put it. I usually put it in the freezer, and I like cook and stuff. So then, okay. I, like at dinner, I'll have it. There's been a few, and I can't even remember. It you was just have Anderson one? Valley. There was one from Anderson Valley, and it was like <laughs> I had half Whoa. the bottle, and I was like, I stood up, and I was like, "Holy <laughs> shit!" I grabbed the bottle, and I was like, "What was that? This motherfucker is a twelve percent. This is a barley wine." She's like, "Oh, what's that mean?" I was like, "I ain't going nowhere. Right? Like, <laughs> if we're driving somewhere, I'm passenger. Yeah, shotgun." <laughs> Let's see. What do we have here? I. I do. I try to stay sub nine at least. Yeah. I'll do a. I'll do a double IPA, but I think just one. Seven is probably about the spot where I'm gonna sit. Do you view the IB, IBUs? How like bitter it is? No. Because uh, my wife and I we go to um, Moylan's in Novato. Okay. Wednesday night is four dollar pint nights. Oh, pretty okay. good deal. So they have. A haze craze IPA, which I go for a single IPA, and the wife gets a, um, the bartender we've become regulars here. Um, they call it the Cole Special. His name's Coles, and he makes this. Uh, it's like a berry hef with a sour float on top, so it's about three quarters of like um, oh? a berry wheat beer, and then a sour on top. So it's like a purpley look, but okay. pretty good. My wife likes it. She'll have one or two. And I'll do this Haze Craze single IPA uh, that I go for there. But um, I think it's about seven and a half, eight there. maybe. Yeah, oh, there you go. Hopcratic. That's an Imperial. Damn, 10%. See, I I oh, try wow. to stay away from anything that's in the goblet. I like it in the pint because the goblet, it usually means it's a little bit too the, like too much for the me. The goblet? Yeah, like... It's either going to be too boozy, like too high alcohol, or too... Is that, is that the... Yeah, like like the little chalice. Like you're drinking like a, like a fucking King, King like Richard. It's like a brandy shit? snifter or something, right? <laughs> I don't need that. I just... <laughs> just give me the pint. Like, Jester, come forth. Yeah. <laughs> but remember the story I that I went that. when the guy ordered the beer and he's like, oh, it comes in that glass? Oh, yeah. And I'm like, you just asked for fucking watermelon vodka, you idiot. <laughs> So I try to stay away from those, not because I I'm offended by how the glass looks. Um, remember, remember when we were all in the martinis? And we oh. started ordering. I'm like, can you can you put in a tumbler, please? <laughs> not, I don't okay. remember that. I do. <clears throat> oh, was that for Tony's birthday? I think I can't remember the occasion. Fifty-one fifty. Knee deep. Did they what, they have a tasting room up here? Yes, it, they have. Is it in Auburn or in Auburn? Yeah, okay. and they actually have. There's one, so it's not knee. De- so it's knee deep, and then I think they, my insiders tell me, and it was Joe who went there for his birthday. His old his, his lady took him. Oh, I don't know if it was the knee deep, but it was to Moonrakers. 
which was ah same like, yeah little like a you know business complex okay you open joe says they are oh really he said they are now what's he going there for what's he drinking he had well i guess no one else listens but joe one that lives in the house he had like a whole like he had bought some beer from them he says it was it was oh he says dude this, this beer is super good we went over for his uh, birthday that one afternoon or evening, mm-hmm. and he had like a whole Coors Light on tap out of his Ice fucking keg, yeah. yeah. So he was showing me, you know, oh here's my my kegerator and stuff, and he says here's some beer that I bought from Moonrakers, but it was hidden away, like stashed away. So yeah. I don't want to bring it out. So I'm not gonna tell you about right because all the jamokes, there yeah, all the jamokes. So he didn't want to. That was his oh, special we're using beer this for beer pong, yeah, or something. And he didn't want to, you know, and I said, yeah, secret save me. So he's like, oh, okay. But he had like, and it was, apparently it was super good stuff. And I, um, I've asked some other sources. I don't know if he wants his name spoken to, but okay. he works with me. You've seen him before. Okay. He yes. lives up there and he says he their, there. their beer is top notch. So. Well, sponsorship opportunity. I see. Moirelands and Need, um, Need Deep, Moon Need Deep and Moonraker. It's a good Bond movie too. The last of the, um, <laughs> who's that fool that just died? Roger Moore. Right. There's a rash Roger Moore. He was like 52 when he filmed the movie. Yeah. Super o- hokey. Like, yeah. <clears throat> He's an elder. <laughs> um, well. The Elder Scrolls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Man, if you had to, I, we're looking at a couple lists here. Cern, if you had to check off or do a tick mark for every one of these beers that you've had, I don't know if I've had 10 of them. And know, we've looked I, at I don't know five either. pages. We've looked at a hundred. Like, I'm right a now. beer connoisseur, and I'm looking I'm like, nope, nope. I'm a fucking hack, rookie. But that's kind of what I like. Um, I wouldn't consider ourselves beer snobs by any means. No. But you know, obviously, Joe's the reverse beer snob. Reverse. Joe has probably had now three. It's fair if you're a fan or if you're listening, you can tweet us and say, "I would leave a place if they didn't have my <clears> be- <throat> my beer on tap." Like if you're a Budweiser guy or. A, but is it, oh, Cerny, if um, when you were in your G&T phase, if they didn't have Bombay Sapphire on I just on the shelf, and you just go to whatever, Beef yeah. Eater or Beef, yeah. whatever. Even the, even the uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> what's uh, what's top? Sh- is Bombay Sapphire or Tangare 10, maybe? Tangare 10, yeah, Bombay Sapphire. They're about, you know. Yeah. I mean, I didn't go to the you know, like $100 bottle shit or nothing. Right. But. What's a good, like, what's a high... Top shelf gin, and like, what's a good gin drink? Like, if we went to Costco and for this party, like, what if we just made a bunch of gin drinks? Because it's fucking refreshing. You can do actually the original. I think I believe the real martini is gin martini. I don't know if I can do that. Remember we tried that one time? Yeah. And it was like, oh, this is no boy. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, clearly don't have the palate for this. I'm thinking gin at, at like. Uh, what, noon yeah or in a bar was just bars. <laughs> now i'm thinking something gin with like muddled with some like berries and mint or something like very summery almost like a mojito but with gin yeah Ooh. like would that play i don't know i have to look up some recipes okay that's just where my mind's going right now with on ice oh yeah and then like a cold. tom you know, tom is that tom collins what's a tom collins it's like I think it's with like some sort of gin syrup or some and, shit. and sweet yeah. and sour. Yeah, look it up. Fuck it. Oof. Well, we know what Joe's gonna be having there. Tom Collins recipe. Hmm. It's a gin, simple syrup, lemon juice, cocktail shaker over ice. It's easy enough. It looks pretty good. Yeah. You've probably had a few of those. <laughs> I probably have. Actually, I think I remember you getting them. <laughs> That's right. You make fun. It's like I'm getting a Tom Collins, uh, top shelf gin. Let's see what the let's see what comes up. Oh, gin. Oh fuck. Let's see here. Nine best bottles. Oh, spruce eats. Gin and tonics. Beef eater. Beef eater. Come on. Was this article brought to you by Beef eater? <laughs> um, Tangare. All right. Okay. I've seen yes. all these. Bobby Bobby Sapphire. Sapphire. All right. I I do co-sign that. Ooh, Martin Miller's London Dry Gin. I don't know. What that looks good. Memory. Ooh, Aviation Gin. American Gin. What, what is that? Hendrix? Oh, I've oh, seen yes, that. That's yes, a cool, that. yes, a very yes. iconic bottle. Yeah. I like that. It's almost like a, uh, a 
like medicine, you know, the old yeah, like old, medicine, like models, old, yes. oldie style. Bowls, bowls, Jennifer. Never now I feel Jen's never. such a complex. Um, oh, this looks like <clears throat> this looks like something that'd be in your in your grandpa's <laughs> liquor cabinet. Hey, man, hey, old, old Tom, Tom Jen. That seems a little racist too. <laughs> that was it. I think. Yep, that was it. Oh, it's not a top ten list. It's seven, but it started at two. Oh, was there more? Oh, it's just on the. Oh no. Well, what I was saying, Jim. Jen is so complex. It's drink- like you know, like oh, this one's more juniper heavy, or this one's more yeah, whatever no. heavy, and I it's like taste that shit. Yeah, y- you know, if I'm drinking gin, as I'm thinking, you know, the when's aviation the- American gin, like, is gin really an? Um, um, I'm gonna go with the the London style. You know, I'm gonna I'm just gonna leave it to the experts. Yeah, the experts. Yeah. Now we're talking about like bourbon or whiskey. Sure. And this is from London. I'm like, mm. yeah. No, okay, I'll I'll stick with the Kentucky or whatever. Sure, Tennessee or T- yeah. whatever. All right, but but gin, I'll I'll stick with I'll I'll go with the London style here. I've never heard anyone do gin shots. It's always in a drink. I don't know. If, always in a cocktail. Yeah, that'd be kind of a rough. Whoa. That'd be kind of. I think everything else you could you think you could do shots of right. I remember in college it was a Sac State and there's this girl. I think she just turned twenty one. She's like, I really don't. I really don't like the taste of alcohol. I was like, yeah, it's fine. That's why it's called a shot. Right. <laughs> Just shoot it down, sweetheart. It'll be okay. All right. Well, Chip and Sir need to know, one, are you going to leave a bar if they don't have, quote, unquote, your beer there? And not, we're not going to, don't, you know, like like we had before, St. Patty's Day and they ran out of, of Guinness. Well. Yeah, we get that. Yeah. I st- we still stayed. But. <laughs> right. Yeah. I mean, what the fuck are we going to do? But uh, your normal day, your beer, you walk into. Or you're going out, your friends like, are you gonna throw a fucking stink? So you yeah. think Joe like went? You sit down, you, you get a table, you sit down, you get okay. Let's go get our drinks. Do you walk out, or do you just find a substitute? Just, yeah, suck it up. That's what I say, Joe. <laughs> and then two, favorite favorite gin, and gin drink. So that's three things. Those yes. are your homework. homework. Chip and Stern show friends. Write it down. Send it to us. Uh, more homework. Yes. You can reach if you're out interested to in the uh, beer koozie, let us know too. Yes, so we might uh, kickstart that. Any of the any of these uh, homework assignments you want to take part of, you yeah. can reach out to us any anywhere: uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Chip and Cern. We have an Instagram still. We do. Okay, Chip and Cern show. Are we getting any DMs in there? Any gnarly DMs, Cerny? Just from you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> show me your dick. Oh, here you go. Fine. <laughs> anyway, Chip's telling me to send nudes. Yes, yes. <laughs> send nudes. <laughs> Chipper, log out of the show account, please. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you need to you quit sign out of the show account. Is that it? Oops. Chip, mistake, oh, mistake. mistake. My bad. <laughs> oh, sorry, Cerny. Sorry. Unless you want me to. Yeah. Then, then I can. Oh, you have my cell. Are you being serious? You have my cell. Airdrop. <laughs> Airdrop. <laughs> okay. All right. Send those nudes. <laughs> <laughs> swing the gin recipes and let us know if you want beer koozies from Chip and Stern Show. Cosign. Cosign. And until next time, I'm Chip. I'm Stern. Cheers. <laughs>